What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Sammy J. I'm back with another video. I have been working on this accessible timing technology. So this video is basically an advertisement for this project I'm working on. So right now there are no affordable options, like realistically affordable options to measure your max velocity when you're running. So I started sprinting two years ago and I was having a great time. But the one thing that was missing was being able to consistently track my progress when you're running for distance, which is the most common activity people do when they're running. You have technology on your phone that tells you how far you're going with GPS and everything, or even in another sport like bodybuilding or powerlifting, you have the number on the bar, how much you're lifting to track as a metric. But with sprinting, you really have no idea how fast you're going when you're performing your reps. Like you can take video of yourself but that doesn't tell you any of your metrics. I had the idea to somehow get your metrics from video. I coded this program that allows you to record yourself from a side view, and as you run across, it both gets the particular positions that are useful to you, and it tells you how fast you're going. So when you look back at your training, you can see this is what I look like, this is the date, and this was my top speed plus other metrics like you'll be able to measure things like your stride length and stride frequency but i'm thinking that top speed plus what you look like will deliver the most value for you guys also if you want to join the email list for the project the link is in the description the website is there it's a simple form just your email your name actually you don't even have to fill out your name it's just your email and i'll update you with any updates you know there's two kinds of people that fall into who might use this product and it's people who are solo training athletes like myself or coaches so the way it works is you upload your videos to the website and then it processes them for you kind of like a file converter it converts your running videos into these analysis analyzed files you get a little report so with these two categories of people there are two tiers to the services the main difference is just how many files you can process a day yeah, so I've just been working hard the last few weeks, so enjoy the rest of the footage on what I do on a semi-day-to-day -day basis. I just am on my computer a lot and building this thing. Oh my... <laughs> oh. Check this out. So you have a video of yourself running. That's at 240 frames per second. And when you upload it here, the video, the video right here, I'm not faking it. I'm not faking it. It's not fake. Open it. Upload it. A little progress action. So I got a comment last week from a very nice gentleman. He was, he was looking out for me, honestly. His name is Sport. He says this. He says, take care of yourself. Working for 24 hours isn't sustainable forever, even if you love it. Every now and then I'll write, but all the time now. I learned that the hard way myself. Anyway, Merry Christmas. That was a reply to when I posted my video on Christmas. Oh, the file's done. Okay, let's look. Download. Downloads. Open it. What does it look like? Boom. Full stats. So my cones weren't the right distance apart. That's why my velocity number is inflated. But this is it. This is it. Anyway, back to what Sport was saying. Take care of yourself for 24 hours. I know, it's, it's ironic. It's ironic because if I were to sleep, then I would be more efficient. I noticed that when I get like four hours, five hours of sleep, I can't do anything the next day. So... I take, you know, the evening off. I get nine, nine and a half, 10 hours of sleep, and I feel great. And respectively, you know, working 24 hours a day, respectively sport, I'm on a mission to deliver this affordable and accurate and just the best timing system that you'll see that you can use from a phone, like this iPhone I used to record that video to process, and now anyone can get their analytics for... Just 
Okay, now we are testing today. I'm gonna do a few runs. I'm not gonna try super hard because this is how cold it is. Can you see that? That's Fahrenheit. So, uh, I mean, it's a nice day today. It was colder yesterday than the day before. So, uh, yeah, just gonna do some passes and then we'll see how it looks with the new stuff, the new software. All you have to do is set up the cones and take the video. That should be it. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, I think I got good enough footage for what I need to do with the software. All I want to do is be able to measure the cones with the video and see if my body's recognized. Guys, I'm filming and it's like I can only set up and do it for like for like two runs. Because the parking lot is so slippery, I feel like I'm gonna slip and die. And also, my hands get so cold too and it's like nine degrees Fahrenheit. So that's like negative 20 Celsius. Maybe negative 15 Celsius. It's cold, my phone, it's like, it's at like 30%, then boom, it's like 10%, then boom, it's like 1% after every time I record a video. So it's like, I have to get it right. Okay, let's see if it works and we can measure velocity. If it works and if it was that easy to set up the cones and to set up your video, that means that everyone who's watching this right now will be able to do the same thing and you'll be able to get all your metrics Okay, let's go see if it works. This is actually really easy. I upload it from my phone. So that's how you choose your files. And then it actually shows up on your computer as well. So once I uploaded it, it's 3.15 right now. 3.16. I uploaded it 30 seconds ago. And it actually was so easy. Check it out. Check it out. Let's go! Okay, so we have... Let me just start from the top. So what you do is you are able to recognize the fiducials, as I was saying, these orange cones in the frame, and then the individual moving at high velocity, it's me, gets mapped, the positions are found, and then afterward, the images are compiled into a nice gallery view with this cool text. So this is the date, the max velocity found from these points as it, it's traveling, as the athlete is traveling, and then the logo. So this is actually formatted in uh, 1080 by 1920 pixels. It's just fancy words for it will fit on your Instagram story. So you can download it to your phone or your computer and then upload it to Instagram on your story or whatever. I don't know if it's really a main feed kind of thing, but I can imagine that people would have their progress kind of laid out in an Instagram post type series or I don't know, a PowerPoint, but that aspect ratio is perfect for that kind of presentation. It's just easy to digest with the text at the top. Amazing. Okay, 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 okay. This is what I'm listening to. So, I just aggregated the points from the kinogram. So, it takes all these points from the video and I averaged them out because I wanted to see what it looked like. And this is what it looks like when it's smoothed out, moving average of like, I don't know, 20 or 30 points as a window. And it's pretty good looking. I would be very confident that this is like an accurate measure of velocity. So it's really good that it's not jumping around and it shows that the points here are in fact consistent and it's not jumping around or at least the smoothing function that I've applied is good enough. Very happy, very happy because you can get to a granularity 
that it will actually measure the peaks and valleys when you're accelerating and decelerating, you know, leaving at toe off and then at full support. You're actually moving at different velocities because there's a braking force that occurs when you put your foot on the ground. So this is good because it smooths it out and this is like more of an average velocity which is used for top speed versus getting kind of an artificial very high peak velocity. It's like at toe off, it's gonna be different than full support. And it's kind of semantics to debate, okay, you wanna measure your peak velocity at toe off and peak velocity at full support to see your braking force or whatever. But it's, in my opinion, it's relative like average velocity that matters more. So I'm very happy with that. So that was the rest of the footage of my week or so. So the company name is Aperto. I want to call it something like the Aperto sprint sequence or the Aperto stat system. But I have to be I have to be professional. I have to be, I have to be professional. You know, there's going to be professional people using this. I can't be joking around. There's no no time for fun. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Not allowed to have fun when you're doing this. <laughs>